Today we've got a tailor-made driver comparison, looking at Stealth Plus versus Sim 2 versus Sim, the last three generations of tailor-made drivers. Thomas put some shots and we'll see what TrackMan tells us about these tailor-made drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka, in the tour van with tailor-made drivers from the past three generations of drivers. So most recently, Stealth and the Stealth Plus model, so the Sim 2 model and the Sim model. So some changes have been made over the last three years, uh, specifically, you know, the drastic one going from Sim to now Stealth, um, the names of the lines. But also, we've seen some progressions made with head shape, and then also with adjustable weight in the back too. So uh, Thomas, you've become very familiar, I know, with Sim and Sim 2 fitting customers over the last couple of years. Now the new edition is Stealth. Uh, what do you think we'll see? And what do you, what's your first impression of Stealth now in kind of the comparing them to the Sim models? Yeah, I mean, you speak of the adjustability. So with the original Sim driver, you had that sliding track mm -hmm. weight. Um, Sim 2, they went away from it. Yeah. And then Stealth, now we're back to the sliding yeah. track weight, which I find really interesting. And there's some manufacturers that have been going away from it. Some have been trying to include it in some, some driver lines. But mm -hmm. I think the advantage is have, it's nice to adjust uh, ball flight a little bit. Yeah. But they've been able to do it, but also keep the MOI, the forgiveness yeah. on these drivers, still very, very high. Yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of what they were maybe experimenting with a little bit with Sim 2 was maybe taking some of that weight, you know, and redistributing it for higher MOI instead of where the sliding weight would be. At the end of the day, they brought it back with the Stealth Plus model, um, which is gonna be kind of that lower spinning, more players oriented driver here. So that's kind of where each of these fall is maybe for the lowest spinning of the series that they come from. So right. um, that's why you're here to test um, kind of a, a player that does swing the club very fast and has some speed. So. Uh, these three, I'm very curious. We've seen, you can kind of see on the back that inertia generator is a little bit different year over year. So the aerodynamics there with swing speed um, have been improving. They've been fine tuning it. But new this year, the big new thing is that club face, that 60X carbon twist face, uh, and different from the titanium of the past couple of years. So the feel and the response from that is going to be what I'd be intrigued in. Yeah, I mean, all three of them still have the inertia generator. They all, all still have the twist face, yeah. it's just a different type of club face now mm -hmm. than what we're seeing. We're talking about the, the carbon, the 60 layers there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna probably be a different feel off the face for mm -hmm. sure compared to the previous models. Yeah, well, I'm excited to get your feedback here. We've got the Mitsubishi Kyolai 60 gram stiff flex shaft where you will test with all three models, hit a few shots with each, we'll break down the data and then get your feedback. I think this will be a good one because Taylor made drivers every year get a ton of buzz. So. Uh, are you ready to hit some shots here? Let's hit some bombs. All right, so Thomas, we've already done our kind of initial swing report video on the stealth. So kind of give me what your feedback is going back now to Sim, the driver from two years ago, and kind of how different that looks at a dress. Well, it's it's not black on the crown. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going back to the, the white, the, the black, the blue transition mm -hmm. with regards to looking, looking down at it. Um, it, it's different. It, yeah. it definitely is a lot more colorful looking down at. Yeah. Um, it seems like, you know, especially with the stealth now, they've gone away from really any, uh, I guess, distraction. Maybe that's not the right word, but something that would catch your eye a little bit more. Uh, it, I mean, now, you know, I can show, I mean, it's just, it's black. You know, you got a little bit of a kind of a, a shiny or glossy kind of leading edge there with that stripe that used to be white. but. It's just black, it's simple, and they've kind of gone away from all the multicolors that they've had in the past for a while now with their drivers, dating back to like when they went with the white club heads. Yeah, but the face is black, it's not red. Yeah. So that's the other thing that you'll notice True. there yes. too, looking down at yeah, it. Depending then, on how much loft you have right. on your driver, if you have more loft on the driver, you're gonna see more of the face. Right, yeah, I know that's something that we've given some feedback on too, is just that red face really catches your eye when you look down at it. So there is, there's still colors there for sure. So. Interesting, and then any shape, any difference? You know, we've talked about the Stealth Plus, probably the most compact of the Stealth line. Um, initially, how does the Sim sit? The Sim, looking looking down at it, honestly, it looks like it's um, 
A little bit more triangular, I guess. Okay. Uh, I feel like the stealth, when, I, when I've done initial testing with that, it seemed like the club head was just a little bit more rounded, okay. a little more compact, while this just seems like it's just a little bit more... Sure. Shaped just slightly different there. Okay. Uh, just, just on the edges a little bit. I have to grab the uh, stealth head just to make sure that I'm, I'm accurate in what I'm saying there. <laughs> but yeah, looking down at it for sure, um, the stealth definitely looks like it's just a little bit smaller and more compact from kind of heel to toe, and maybe a little bit taller. Okay. It was loud. It's a good ball though. Just slightly yeah. open. Mine is leaving the face a little open. Yeah. Ooh, that was face good. wasn't open on that one. Yep, that's a good ball. Ooh, there's a good one. Yeah. Wow. Well, five shots in with the sim. What do you think? I noticed it seemed louder. Yeah, coming back to the original sim driver, it's very loud. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially after doing our initial testing with the, uh, with yeah. the Stealth Plus. Yeah. It seemed really loud. Yeah, there was a de yeah. definitely a difference there. Um, and then numbers-wise, the sim still performs. I mean, not that we would expect anything different. TaylorMade drivers do really well, and they, you know, they stand the test of time uh, pretty darn well. But the, yeah, I mean, 166.6 ball speed, spin just over 2,000, carry almost 295, total 315. And then dispersion wise, your consistent distance wise, I know you had, you know, one that kind of leaked left and then that one, I think it was maybe your first drive yep. had that face open a little bit, but otherwise you're right around the middle there. So, yeah, I mean the, like you said, left to right consistent distance wise, yep. the left and right shots, that's more hu human error, leaving mm -hmm. the face open, leaving the face closed. But we'll notice that the carry distance, it wasn't like it was lopsided. It wasn't right. like way left or way right. It was very consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now Sim 2, uh, interesting. So the MOIs is slightly higher just because they don't have that sliding weight in there. Um, club face shape on the back, that inertia generator is a little bit different. Um, I'm curious though, because a lot of the same materials are in there, right? We're not in the carbon face yet. So uh, uh, we've done some testing with Sim versus Sim 2, but this will be interesting here to, again to you know try that once again. All right, let's hit it. So you've got the Sim 2, uh, again, that kind of that different blue on there compared to the sim but uh it seems like what the, the crown is a little darker and then maybe the you still have that white stripe leading edge there right yeah the the black part of the crown is darker so yeah. it's gone from a gray to almost black but it still obviously has the white yeah. around the edge and then the blue around the edge um and it still sits looks like it's you know relatively large profile okay looking down at pretty similar to what the the sim looked yeah. like as well is that shape-wise is pretty similar to the sim there? Yeah, it looks pretty similar. Okay. Now that'll work. <laughs> yeah, that one felt pretty good. Man, those were two really, really, I mean, you could lay a blanket over those two out there. Right, the, the spin rate on those last two are almost the exact same. Mm -hmm. That was a good ball. That spin is saying very consistently low for you with right. the Sim 2 here. Just a little bit lower than the Sim. Mm -hmm. Let's smoke that. Come on, spin. That you did. Just a little bit more spin, otherwise you would have had that 300 carry number. Right. But, uh, Saving it for the stealth, yeah. maybe. Another good one. Yeah, that one left the face a little bit on that one, mm -hmm. open and on that one. That kind of increased the spin a little bit, but yep. overall, there's, uh, here I'll get both numbers and map up. Why don't we do that? So we've got... Sim and Sim 2, those, those dispersion patterns are pretty similar. Um, I was just very impressed by the consistency, really, of kind of these three Sim 2s right here. We got 
right here, that's, or excuse me, these two right here. Yep. Yeah, that spin was very similar. You know, you're carrying the ball 296. Uh, how about feel and sound comparing the two sim, the, the sim and the sim two? Well, the sim is noticeably louder. Uh, the sim two mm. is definitely quieter. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it, it felt softer off the face mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Yeah, definitely was a huge difference there. It's interesting because I was I would have expected coming in just the new face material would have we would have sort of noticed it from Sim Two to Stealth. Yeah. Um, we might still notice it. And we still but, might. Yeah. Um, I also just wanted to point out the average spin between the two, thanks to those that last couple that you that you uh, you left out the face open on the Sim Two. Right. Brought your average to. Four RPM difference between the Sim and Sim 2. Yeah. So. Before that last swing, we were probably we would have been under 2,000 RPMs yeah. on average. Well, but we that can, last swing was just a little bit open we with can, the face. Yeah, it would have been 1931 yeah. here. So, but uh, but still, just a little just a little bit less spin with the Sim 2 than the mm -hmm. Sim. What we were saying. Yeah. Overall. Um, so, Stealth Plus now new model, new club face. I'm curious, especially on your feedback feel and sound, but then also we'll see how the performance shakes out. Right. Well, initial thoughts and seeing it, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's the black or not, but it definitely looks a little bit more compact looking down okay. at it for sure. And black always makes things look slimmer. And that, and and that could be what smaller. it is. I mean, it could yep. be the actual measurements. That could actually be the same size or even bigger, I guess, the yep. footprint of the Sim compared to the Sim or Sim 2. But it, I think you're onto something with just that, that black crown makes it just look more compact, which could be a reason they went to that, that color. Right. Well, let's see how it performs. That won't be left. That. Wow. Yep. There we go. Wow. That's... There's the Stealth Plus. There's the bull speed and that low spin and the high carry distance. That's some serious distance for you there, Thomas. Wow. Yep. Another one. Wow. I think you just hit 304.2 carry twice in a row. Yep, that one felt like that one was. I actually need to see this now. I'm curious. These numbers are 115, 170. Yeah. Look at how similar those numbers are. Wow. That's a little low on the face, but that was. Yeah. Yep. There's your highest ball speed of the test right there. Yeah, I mean, hitting this, it feels softer. I think three of the five shots, I carried the ball over 300 yards, which is something I've been really trying hard to do for a long time. Yes. So that. You can see him right here. Here's that 300 yard line. You got one there that was 301 and then 304 in each of these. Now, let's kind of go through, well, first of all, feel and sound. Did you notice as big of a difference as you did from Sim to Sim 2? From Sim to Sim 2, I noticed the biggest difference. Okay. Sim, Sim was probably the, the loudest, for sure was the loudest. Uh, I know when I initially tested this, it, it felt pretty pretty soft. Yeah. But then after hitting the Sim 2, that was also pretty quiet as well. Okay. But this is definitely quieter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, sir, I mean, that's certainly the softest yeah. and quietest of the last three tailor-made dry regenerations, I guess. Um, so numbers wise, um, you kind of, you, you did jump on a couple of those stealth T shots. Is there anything to that black look, maybe providing more confidence or maybe just the extra, um, I mean, willingness to swing faster or is that, is that just kind of a coincidence there? I don't know. I mean, playing, this is the exact same golf shaft in all three right. heads. I could be a little bit more warmed up, but I'm also, we've done some other testing here today yeah. where I'm already pretty, pretty tired. Yeah. So I'm 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 kind of a little surprised to see that that club speed, but I'd focus more on the ball speed really than, than, than yeah. anything. The ball um, speed and the smash factor are both the best with the Stealth Plus here. Right. Yeah. So that efficiency being one four eight versus one four seven, that's mm -hmm. going to be more to what to focus on overall. Yeah. Um, spin rate. Once again, we we've seen it here. 
yeah, as being kind of one one outlier per, yeah. per shot in there. We can kind of take, let's just do that now. Yeah, so that one, take clearly that spun we'll quite here, a lot higher. Go here, and then maybe this one here. We'll take out. Yeah, well maybe the one, either that one or the one over the left. They're, they're all pretty. Lower left. Yeah, probably yeah, that one that. would be the, the So outlier. now we've got kind of, you know, the spin is sort of the best shots, if you will. Yep. Um, we can kind of see they're still very similar across the board here. I mean, look at that. 1931, 1935, 1973. We're seeing the ball speed quite significantly faster there with the Stealth Plus. So yeah, that's, that's why true. I was able to get that carry distance up yep. four or five yards compared to the others. Yep, yep. You see that? You see that? Yeah, that carry distance, you're at 295, gained five yards, and then uh, five to seven total. Um, looking across here, there's not a ton that's dramatically different. I mean, really, you have still that, that draw came into play. I think you had kind of the one that you really turned over a little bit, which may be skewing that a little bit. But really, yep. I mean, you had three, the three best shots you hit today were all stealth plus in that test. So I think that does signify something. Uh, you know, TaylorMade's got something there potentially with that carbon face. Um, you know, maybe a little bit faster across the whole face rather than um, the, the previous models with the titanium. Yeah, I think you're right. That dispersion screen, that kind of sums it up there. You can yep. see those purple, three purple dots that are really ahead of anything else. Mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing some gains. And I mean, TaylorMade's gonna be happy to know that their newer technology is going to be performing better than the previous. Obviously, you know, they, they wanna see gains. Oh yeah. But not to be undone, the other ones are also performing pretty well yeah. overall. And, that's, and also consistently as well. And that's encouraging for golfers that are maybe don't want to spend top dollar on a, on a new driver. They, you know, the Sim and Sim 2 have been awesome in the last couple of years for, for golfers of all skill levels, whether maybe it's the Sim Max, Sim 2 Max, or maybe those Max D type models. But they're, they're perf really good performers. And, you know, at cheaper price points now with the Stealth Plus out and available, that's certainly a great option. And you're not losing a ton, as you can see from the map here and from the numbers. The Sim and Sim 2 keep up really well. I think we just saw a little bit of that incremental increase with the Stealth Plus. Perhaps that new club face is part of that. But regardless, TaylorMade's always been a leader when it comes to metal woods. Um, and you're seeing the, those gains year over year now. Yeah, I think just the ones that I hit really well, we're just seeing a little bit extra gains with yeah, the Stealth Plus. For sure. Well, I know, you know golfers are going to be really excited about Stealth this year. Uh, and fittings are already getting really busy at Second Swing, so we encourage you, if you're interested in stealth, to schedule a fitting as soon as possible. Get into the tour van, let our experts help you out. Or, uh, if you're interested in upgrading to a Sim or Sim 2, also make sure you check out one of our store locations or SecondSwing.com and get set up with one of our used uh, Sim or Sim 2 drivers. So, Thomas, thanks for coming in, hitting the shots. Great data here. Uh, again, TaylorMade always crushes it with drivers.